Hi, I'm Metal Scott. I have a guitar. That's right, Cody went and got himself his second Gibson Les Paul. What is this one? It's a 60s standard. From the 29th. Kind of looks like you removed a pick guard there. Yeah, it took off the pick guard because pick guards are for squares. Don't let anyone tell you different. Uh, it depends on the guitar and colors and. Everything else is standard Gibson Affair, Rosewood. Mahogany. Uh, VGA inlays. Mahogany body, binding, uh, sunburst this time around. Uh, tea, right? Ice tea burst. Ice tea burst. Yeah, this motherfucker is about 10 pounds. Fun. And uh, we've got the standard. Standard. Says Les Paul model on there. Yeah. These have got the the, the silver cool sound turners. If you get the 50s one, they're more that says in line. Grover. Uh, Grover. So these are Grover. Yeah, if you get the 50s, those are the cool sound ones. More in line with like my Les Paul traditional. Right. Where it has the rubber? Silicone? Okay. Whatever so, the fuck it is on the on the thingy things. That's basic basic quick run through. It's yeah. got dust on it because you've been ignoring it. Ignoring it. <laughs> What you get when you buy like five guitars in five months. <laughs> yeah. Should we talk bad or play it first and then talk bad? Um, well, all the skip times will be in the description below. <laughs> uh, let's talk bad first, I guess, then go from there. All right. So you have had for a long time a Gibson Les Paul traditional. Yes. Which is also a USA model. Yes. Which is also a 2012, which is apparently one of the more hated years for whatever reason, but I really like it. And how do you compare the two that you have? Uh, traditional has a much thicker neck. Like, it has a more in line with the 50s neck. The 60s neck is much, much slimmer, comparatively. Which is why I have a much easier time playing it as someone who's not a fan of thicker necks. Yeah. Uh, completely different pickups with the burst buckers in these. I forgot what's in the traditional exactly, but I know it's not burst buckers. Mm -hmm. I'll have to double check. They're a different color. They certainly are. Yeah. This one's not red. That's right. <laughs> um, we noticed, I noticed when I just grabbed this guitar today, it kind of looks like it's cracking at the nut. Do you want to yeah. hold it up to the camera? And So that was kind of weird. I don't know, you know, brand new guitar. I don't know why that would have. I know that Gibson extra 17 degree uh, yeah. headstock angle is, it's, it's something like that, is, is terrible for the nut because it's just too much force here, especially if you put thick gauge strings on and <laughs> someone likes to run the, um, yeah, someone likes to run the uh, skinny top heavy bottoms. Yeah. Um, Which aren't super thick, but no, I've seen them break a nut before. We should, we should play this thing and then we can talk more. Okay. So let's go ahead and run through the clean tones. We're using the Mesa Boogie Mark V 25. Pretty good clean tone. Yeah. It's definitely respectable. Boop. <laughs> High gain, starting at the bridge. Yeah.
Well, it sounds like a Les Paul. It plays like a Les Paul. It definitely sounds like a Les Paul, though. It has that... Les paul thing. Yeah. That you would do. So, all right. My personal opinion of this guitar is I enjoy it more than almost every other Les Paul I've ever played, especially more than the traditional, just because it suits what I want more. Yeah. I also find that it's weirdly easy to do finger picking on just because of the string spacing. Yeah, but string spacing is nice. It's yeah. a little wider. Right. Overall, I don't think it feels like a, how much? 2500 2500 yeah. I don't think it feels like a $2,500 instrument. Because I could get a, a Majesty for $2,500. Yeah. And, you know, it would be better. And that's going to get us some hate right there, but... Yeah, it all really depends on your own personal preferences. If you like a Les Paul, you're going to love this guitar. Like, bar none, you're going to love this guitar. That being said... If you don't like Les Pauls, you're not going to like this guitar. Oh, oh wow, what a, what a shocker. What a fucking surprise. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what about you, who's had a Les Paul and then got a Les Paul? I think you were telling me the other day, you prefer the old one now. Yeah. I prefer playing the old one, just because I apparently like a thicker neck. As I found out fairly recently, from playing this and playing that, and then playing the Kiesel, which also has a thicker neck profile, at least compared to its standard one, it's a bit thicker. You uh, accidentally got the thick one. Yeah. It's in the Kiesel video. Yeah, might be. Sort of <clears throat> worked out. Worked out. But I, don't know, just, I just like the thicker neck. I like the tone of this a bit better, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure that's just the pickups in it. Like, it just sounds more, yeah. more angry. But that's the... This sounds like a classic Les Paul to me. Yeah. I don't know what they had in the classic Les Well, I mean, I think it was closer to what your old Les Paul had. Yeah, well, those are... Um, the traditionals are more based off of the 50s models. 50s models, yeah. But... So? Fretboard looks a little dry. It also looks very purpley. To be fair, it's looked like that since the day I got it, and I have conditioned it. Right. So I don't fucking know. Yeah, it doesn't feel that dry. It just is. Mm. So it just looks that way. Yeah, I don't fucking know. So the problem that we have, just overall, is that you like the Kiesel a lot more. Like, mm -hmm. a lot more. Yeah. Just, I feel like the problem is that Gibson is all based on their name right now. Because you like them because they're Gibsons. And you want the look and the, the proper headstock shape and the proper headstock name. But, so, like, yeah. ultimately, even hardcore Gibson fans are all just kind of shifting over into new guitars now. Now, with the 2019 ones in particular, they really brought it back. Like, this is a nice guitar. It really is. It's fantastic. Just not for me. Which is sad, because I spent $2,500 on it. But uh, And you've been a Gibson fanboy for, like, six years? Yeah, but something I like that. to be fair, I also don't really like the classics, like the Les Paul classics, which is what the neck profile more reminds me of. So I feel if I got, like, a 50s Les Paul, I, I get a bit more. Yeah. But at that point, I just have another traditional, and what the fuck's the point of that? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I think that... This year, Epiphone crushed it, Yeah, and I'm nice. actually really excited to go check out the 2020 Epiphone line in person. I'm really excited for the purple and pink SGs and Les Pauls. Like, that's just really funny. They're really pretty. Yeah. But uh, we, we've we uh, sort of got away from it. So, are there any major flaws of this guitar? Not really, surprisingly, when it comes to, like, build quality. Overall, it's really nice, except for the cracked knot, which is like a 15 I don't fix. know how that happened. Um, um, honestly, it might have been from when I went up to Tennessee with it. Oh, yeah? Because of the huge shift in temperature, it went from like 70 down to like 20 or 30. Right, but this overnight. is a nitro finish, right? Wouldn't that have cracked? Um, it probably wasn't that. Lacquer, know, lacquer at the back of the neck is very... This will get in your way if you've if you got sweaty hands. This will get in your way. Um, but it's Gibson standard, so you, you'd be used to it by now. Yeah. Um, I t <laughs> it is heavy. Yeah, uh, I told you. It's yeah, like fucking it's 10 like pounds. 10 pounds. It's still not, not quite as heavy as the Warlock, but that's only because it's acrylic. Yeah. <laughs> it looks pretty. I really like the flame. We can get close to it. It's double A flame. But yeah, the, that flame. Which I feel should be at least triple for what you're paying for it. That's a good but, point. <sighs> Honestly, who am I to argue? I don't really care that much. That's true. Well, I've been Metal Scott. He's been Cody. Hey. 
to say. <laughs> right. It's a nice guitar. Have a good day. Check these out in, in store if you can. Store near you. Yeah, see if it's for you. Because it wasn't much for me. I'm it may or may not be for you. That's It's best to check this particular guitar out. It's best to check any guitar out. If you can, which we can't. Most of the time. <laughs>